All right, good morning, everybody. Ooh, that sun is bright. It's been about an hour or so this morning. Uh, messing around the garage uh, Messing with the 48 Vantage got put in the pond uh, You know we drained the oil we did all that uh, It ran good and then it started knocking a little bit and uh, That's got me a little bit worried, but I think it might be an, an exhaust leak because I took the muffler off And it's just I, I don't think it's uh, fitting up in there good good enough. So I was messing with it this morning uh, Put some sealer on there and put some new gaskets on there and I'm gonna let it sit for a day and then I'm gonna try it tomorrow and see if that doesn't help. Uh, so, so real quick, I wanna talk about it. Uh, the same thing I talked about in last video was quitting my other job, doing lawn care full time. And I wanna kinda of point out a few things. And uh, first off, I wanna say, I appreciate all the comments. Uh, you know, a lot of people were saying, go for it. A lot of people were saying, stick with your job. Uh, I truly, I understand both sides of the fence. Uh, that's why this is a hard decision. I, I can understand why people will people would say choose choose the job that you've been at for 20 years or almost 20 years, and I can see why people would say, you know, follow your dream, be a business owner, and, uh, and make a go of it. You know, and uh, you know, like I said, I see this dang fly. God dang it, you're killing me, Smalls. But anyway, like I said. I can see both sides of the fence. That's why this is a tough decision. But I do kind of want to point out that, you know, this this is kind of what's going on in my head is in my other job, I have reached my, I've, I've reached the peak. It doesn't get any better than what I'm doing right now. The pay doesn't get any better. Um, it's it, you know, I'm topped out. I don't get no more raises. Uh, boom, that's it. And it's a union job. And the reason why I point that out is because, you know, 20 years ago or 18 and a half years ago when I hired on, this was like the dream job for somebody like me that doesn't have an education, for somebody that doesn't, didn't go to school, didn't get a degree. And this was kind of like the dream job because it was, it's good pay and the benefits were outstanding. But in the past 10 years, the benefits have gotten worse they've gotten worse and they've gotten worse with every new contract that we sign as a union the benefits have gotten worse so you know with that you know I, I know a lot of people are saying well you know that's that's safety net that's that's your safety but you know who knows who knows I mean uh, yeah it seems safe right now but in five years who knows it might not be a very good job you know we might not you know, we, we could lose a lot, a lot of, a lot of benefits that we have right now. So, you know, to say that that's, you know, hundred percent safety net is not accurate either. So I want to point that out as well. And also I want to point out, you know, like I said, I've reached my ceiling, you know, with my lawn care, I don't, I don't know where my ceiling is at right now. I don't, you know, the money wise, I'm making about the same job, lawn care, about the same. I'm doing lawn care eight, nine months out of the year. I'm working the other job 12 months out of the year, but I'm making about the same amount of money. Obviously in my lawn care business, I'm paying out more because I have employees, I have more expenses, things like that. But, you know, one of the reasons why I'm paying out more and, and, and things like that is because I have another job. You know, my taxes are higher because I have two incomes, because I make more, I'm over a certain threshold, so I get taxed at a higher rate. So uh, there's a lot of things that, that would benefit me from only doing lawn care that I would bring more money in my pocket. And like I said, I don't know where my ceiling is at. You know, I've, I, I'm making, like I said, I'm making about the same amount of money, maybe a little bit more in lawn care, over a shorter period of time and I'm only and I'm not even giving it my full time my my full uh, attention because I have another job I have other priorities so that's kind of what's fueled this 
is, you know, I, I kind of want to see where that ceiling goes, you know? Is it is it 100,000? Is it 200,000? Is it, you know, is it 500,000? I don't know. But I do believe that as far as money-wise, you know, money, money is really not even a concern for me that much because, you know, like I said, I have a client base. I have uh, contracts. I have, you know, uh, I just have money coming in. This is my third year and it's been, it's been going up a little bit every single year. So, you know, yeah, it's a risk, but it's not, it's not like I'm starting over you know, it's not like uh, I'm just foregoing my job and starting a business with no clients. So I'm gonna make a go of it. No, I actually have an established client base, and I actually have income that I can pretty much count on. You know, so you know, it's not like I'm going at it blind. But anyway, enough of that. We got yards to mow. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history, yeah Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history, yeah to the new property I just picked up and I'm a little bit nervous you know I always get a little bit nervous going to new properties especially really nice properties and uh, this, is a, this is a really nice one you know and it's got it's got like a big dip there in the front yard that uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to, to to mow so I might have to trim all that and you know you know, I, I I know I'm gonna do a good job, but I just I, I get nervous sometimes. I want it I want it to look great. I want it to look outstanding, and uh, I just I just get a little bit little little butterfly. But uh, we're gonna go knock it out, uh, and the weather just isn't looking very good today. Uh, it's not supposed to rain uh, today, but this afternoon it, it could. But it's looking pretty pretty glim right now. But uh, originally I told her I was gonna mow this yard tomorrow, but we are supposed to get a lot of rain tonight and tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock it out a day early. Uh, so let's go see what we can do. I'm hoping it's not too wet, because we did get a little bit of rain last night, and when I, when I looked at it yesterday, it was a little bit moist. Um, that's kind of my, that's kind of where, where I get nervous at, you know, is making that call on is it too wet not too wet because i definitely don't want to leave tracks i definitely don't want to tear up somebody's yard but at the same time i want to get a cut for them uh so you know there's kind of a fine line there and and usually properties that you that you know you've been doing for a long time you kind of you know, i mean you know where the wet spots are you know where where it's going to be wet and you and you know what to expect new properties it's kind of hard and uh you know i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna walk this property first and and really see you know where I might have trouble at so 